Now, of course, we are a nation of immigrants, but lately doors have been shut to legal immigration and leaving countless high-skilled workers and students in limbo. Thousands are on the front lines of the battle against COVID-19, but could now face deportation. ABC's Kaylee Hartung has this report. Like so many doctors putting their lives on the line every day in the fight against COVID-19, Dr. Akshat Kamath has sleepless nights. I get sleepless nights because of thinking hypotheticals, you know, what would my wife do and, you know, how would my daughter be uh, with if something were to happen to me. But unlike his colleagues at Southwest Medical Center in rural Kansas, if Dr. Kamath gets sick from COVID-19, his family's life as they know it will be completely upended. At the back of my mind, I'm all, always worried about, you know, if I am disabled or, um, you know, God forbid, uh, I, I don't make it um, and I pass away, then uh, my wife and my, uh, you know, three and a half year old daughter, so they'll have to kind of uh, self-deport back to uh, India. Put, nicely put salt and pepper. Dr. Kamath knows he's not the only one living in America with this fear. Legal immigrants stuck in green card gridlock. We are advocating um, for change in immigration laws um, so that it can reflect the ground reality and, and people like us who are uh, fighting to save American lives are, we don't have to, we don't have to worry about what's going to happen to us uh, if the worst case scenario comes to fruition. Dr. Kamath came to the U.S. from India to practice medicine more than 10 years ago. He has a visa, but if he can't work, his family can't stay here. A green card would allow for the Kamath family to be permanent residents in this country, paving the way to eventual citizenship. But just last year, the Senate rejected legislation that would have eliminated green card caps for high-skilled workers like doctors. The, the greatest disappointment is our United States Congress. Imagine a doctor who's taking care of those that are vulnerable in our nation and then has to worry about his own back. Dr. Kamath believes it'll be years until he's granted a green card. Indians applying for employment-based green cards are disproportionately affected by the backlog. At the current pace, it would take 49 years to process all green card applications from India, but just six years for those applying from China, according to one study. But our qualitative and quantitative history of visas, starting with the 1952 Walter McCarran Act, uh, developed and morphed politically, if you would. An Indian doctor is treated very differently than a doctor from London. There is sadly a built-in discriminatory system in, in place. But the U.S. needs people like Dr. Kamath, especially now. In 2018, 2.6 million immigrants were employed as healthcare workers in the U.S., one and a half million of them working as doctors, registered nurses, and pharmacists. Immigration has been a partisan issue in U.S. politics for years. President Trump has touted that he wants people to come in legally. You got to come into our country legally. <laughs> I've always said you have to come into the country legally, so not legal. What I campaigned on was people just flooding our border. And we want people coming into our country, but we want them to come in through merit and we want them to come in legally. But this administration has repeatedly moved to curtail legal immigration and has now put freezes on green cards and visas for new immigrants. Michael Wilds is First Lady Melania Trump's immigration lawyer, but he's critical of the president's policies. Everybody is thrown into one uh, pile, and it's just not appropriate. It's not appropriate when the president lauds himself on wanting a merit-based immigration system, and there are people that are not only the underbelly of our economy, but restoring our, and maintaining our lives. The government has to have more heart. According to the National Foundation for American Policy, 32% of applications for skilled worker visas were rejected in 2019, compared to just 6% in 2015. The American dream, now made even less attainable by the pandemic. 70% of immigration officers who process visas and green cards face furloughs unless Congress passes a bill to fund them. And just this week, ICE announcing it will force international students to leave the country if they don't attend in-person classes this fall. Am I supposed to be embarrassed for being international? Why am I being treated this way if I didn't do anything wrong and I just went out study? An uncertain future for so many, but Dr. Kamath doesn't see himself anywhere else, saving the lives of others while he risks his own. I consider this to be my home. In spite of everything that's happening, I've never hesitated in 
coming to work and doing what I'm trained for and, and what I love doing. Kaylee Hartung, ABC News, Los Angeles. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.